Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the Wallace. In today's video, we're doing another Mac for the Series 26 Space Series. In the previous video, I did one for the Ice Planet Explorer, the, the white one, you know, with the penguin and then the chainsaw, I adapted it to be a drill instead. Uh, and then people asked to do the Black Tron Mutant one. So that's what I did. Uh, you'll see that it's green on one side and black on the other. And then the left side also has those two arms and a kind of like mutant leg. And that's what I tried to mimic in this mech. This is a much bigger than the Ice Planet Explorer mech. And this one took a little bit more time, but this one was also a lot of fun to do. I had, I won't say I had more creative freedom in this one, but this one um, made me want to be more creative to kind of keep that one side is mutant and green. And then the other side is like black and technical uh, robot looking. You know, we'll get into that further. You'll see it on the left side, yes, it is that green. And then the two arms on the right hand side, just like the minifigure. I did three fingers on um, all the arms. I think that's just what made sense for this mech. Uh, if you have any other ideas, let me know. You can see that it's pretty much the same, same thing on either side. I kind of ran out of pieces to change the back to make it look the same. It also keeps pretty good balance like this. Look, it can do kicks. Can you can your mech do that? And you can see kind of on the legs that one side is thicker than the other, and then the other one is kind of more thin. It's kind of trying to keep that balance or change on either side. One of the hardest parts about this one though, to have the minifigure sit in there, is that it can't actually sit because there's no studs on the mutant part of the leg. So it, it didn't, so it wasn't able to actually like sit how a normal mini minifigure would and also it doesn't bend all the way so like it can't actually sit you can't bend that mutant leg further so it just it has to stay like that so the only way to do that is to it has to stand it can't actually sit in there so i had to adjust the the cockpit you know to be able to, to fit that and also the arm being two arms on one side kind of limited the places that it could sit in so i had to make the cockpit a little bit bigger for it in order to fit that um two arms on one side so it's gonna have to stand and that's what makes the cockpit kind of thick so i used all these hinge pieces on the sides to kind of like close the space as you'll see here so the top folds and then the bottom is going to fold into it and i don't think it looks half bad and I think those hinges work out pretty well. And that's what you have to do when you have a minifigure like this that just won't, isn't going to sit normally. And that's also why I couldn't use, I couldn't go the easy route, like in Ice Planet Explorer where they, where those um, Ninjago or Marvel ones that they've been using, those easy cockpits, like I couldn't do those uh, here. So I had to go this route, but I think it worked out. And I think this is a lot more creative, a lot more fun. And I'm a big fan of these dome pieces for mechs because it just makes it look more spacey i would say and of course i like to add little jet packs little ways to give them boosts in the mechs uh i play a lot of apex legends and all the legends have those kind of things those jet packs to help them like boost into places and uh it's more of a titanfall thing really so i think every mech needs those that's why i added it so yeah let me know your thoughts on this blacktron mutant mech this is a really quick video sorry if my voice is kind of dampened or whatever i'm feeling a little bit under the weather but i really wanted to record a video just to, to get something out because it's been a while even since i posted the last one and i made i recorded this and made this mech a while ago like right after i built that one but just life gets in the way and all that stuff but yeah let me know your thoughts on this mech on the collectible series series 26 let me know what other mech i should make for any of those other minifigures or another mech for another minifigure i should make so let me know in the comments be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time